always said, and I said this to my seniors, you, you, you lost a really good friend tonight. And that's Columbia River basketball. It'll never happen again. You'll never be on an organized team again. You'll never be, you just won't be with a bunch of guys every day for three hours, six days a week. It means something. And we lost, they lost a good friend. And I've lost a really good friend because this is it for me. You know, I, I don't, I come back every year. For 32 years, I just come back. It's next year, next year, next year. I see my seniors off and I get excited about the young kids coming up, but I've lost a good friend tonight. I mean, this is it. And kind of glad it happened here. If it happened anywhere, at least it's here, you know, and because I've had way more wins and losses in this gym. So um, it's it's been good. It's, I've had it good for a long time. And this, I knew this was coming and really didn't think about it much the last couple three years because I still I still like what I do it's been 35 years but I don't get up in the morning and go oh man another day at the salt mine you know I don't hate what I do but I am looking forward to not having to do it you know it's just it's just time you know and I got I got grandkids you have grandkids I tell you it changes your life you know it's just time and so what this community has done I I didn't expect what happened Friday night I didn't know what was going on I just I was I was in awe of how many people. It's just great to see ex-players from way back, from the first year on up. They, every year was represented. I mean, they, they were. That was really cool to see those guys, and they brought their kids. You know, these these are grown men now with boys of their own that are getting close. Some of them are in high school. I've had eight play for me, eight players that of whose dads played for me. You know, eight sons, and so it was just neat to see these kids and, and meet all these guys. Uh, again, see him again. So that, that that was special. The lessons that they've learned through Columbia River basketball, and they all say we didn't get it then, but we get it now. You know, and we live by those same principles and same philosophies now as men. And they said you taught us these things about discipline and hard work and making the right decisions and accountability for your actions. Those things are all part of athletics, and especially in this program. Um, and they know their, their lives have changed because of Columbia River basketball, and they tell me that, and that's, that's nice to read. I mean, um, and these kids will get it too. You know, some they get it now, but they'll really get it later when it really does matter in life. Is there one win, one postseason memory that stands out in, I the, still, in the crowd? I'll be honest with you, I still love um, a couple of them. Is the first really big one uh, ever was up at Kelso my first year when we were we weren't good at all and they were like first second in the state it's the best team Kelso had ever had they were phenomenal and we weren't too my first year we weren't very talented and we upset them up there to be in first place in the league and we ended up only winning one more game the rest of the year because teams zoned us all of a sudden and, and, and we couldn't shoot and so that was still that's still the biggest upset ever it didn't mean anything it didn't get us anywhere the upset 97 over Evergreen twice back in 97 that got us to state, that's probably, you know, the biggest thrill I've ever had. Because um, that was a special group of boys. That was a group that was really dedicated to get to the state tournament. And that was back when it was hard to get to the state. Only two teams went. And we were loaded here in Southwest Washington back in those days. That was a big one. I still remember that one vividly. In fact, I just watched the film two days ago, just for nostalgia, just popped it in and watched it. and then. Uh, the state semifinal back in 09 was, we weren't supposed to beat Rainier Beach in the quarters. We weren't, definitely weren't supposed to beat Bellevue. Bellevue was loaded, you know, and it was supposed to be Bellevue and, you know, and, and uh, so in the finals. And, uh, and that was, that one was phenomenal to get to the state championship game and two, two upsets. Um, I don't think the Rainier Beach was a huge upset, but they were good. But Bellevue was. Bellevue had beaten Union the night before by 30. Hmm. You know, that's how good they were, you know. And, and they had three players that were former Sonics, sons of former Sonics on that team. I mean, they were loaded. Uh, point guard went to Cal, was the starting point guard at Cal. And then just, I mean, they were loaded. And we, we got them. You know, we got them. And that was, that was a huge upset, too. That one was probably those three are the biggest ones that stay with me. Uh, and the last two were so important because they meant something. They, we, the Evergreen one put us into the state tournament, and that was a big goal that team had. And then the, 
that 09 put us in the state championship game. Those are the first one was just the huge, the biggest David and Goliath ever of all time. That was, we had no business even being in the same gym with those guys and we got them. So you talk to young coaches in the area and they'll, they'll talk about how, uh, how much of a resource that you are to young mm -hmm. coaches. Um, what, what, I mean, what's been your experience in these last few yeah. years just with the profession and with the, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how young, and I've always, when coaches call or email me, I always give them, I've had stuff guys call from Spokane, just this year, Spokane. I got guys from Gonzaga Prep and all kinds of places that will call and get what stuff for me. They say, hey, we saw you playing this day. You got a couple out of bounds plays. I'd love to get, I don't know how you run that, you know. Um, I share everything. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Um, you know, and I'll help. I've even gone to other gyms and help put stuff in during the basketball season. I so said, I'll come over tonight and help you put it in. Because I can draw it up and send it to you, but you don't know all the little detail. I'll help you put it in. And I'll help other coaches. I, it's a tough profession because it's not four months. You know, that, those days are long gone. The future of this program is phenomenal. It's going to be, that's the hard part about leaving.